guys, it's Rosalie. Today's Saturday, May 14th, and I want to go over a couple of things regarding what is up with health and nutrition and what I'm experimenting with currently. My sister bought me this diffuser uh, last my, for my last birthday, and I never used it because it's one of those things that just looks so pretty and you don't want to touch it, and today I'm also matching it. You guys see that? It's a peacock. It's a peacock theme, just like my shirt. This has a lemongrass essential oil in it, and it smells really delicious. I am not going to eat this. I'm not going to um, put it in my hair, although I think you can. But because I don't know whether or not it's safe to, I won't. You have to remember that certain essential oils you can eat, and certain essential oils you cannot. So be very careful as to what essential oil you do ingest, and how you use them. Just be safe about it. That's my little disclaimer there. So I'm gonna unbox this little bad boy right here and I am going to let these smells just diffuse the air. And I read a little bit about lemongrass and it is actually a really good way to help to reduce anxiety, insomnia, if you find it hard to sleep. It also has hypnotic properties, which I don't think I'm very comfortable with, but we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens here. This is what it looks like. It's a high fragrance reed diffuser in lemongrass. And there's the beautiful little diffuser bottle in glass. And those are little reeds. I really love how beautiful this looks. What a nice little decoration here. And I love this little detail of the peacock. So for the purposes of the video, I've already uncorked this. It took a little while to get this part out. And now I'm just gonna add the reeds. I can maybe add all of them. Go a little crazy, right? Let me just add all of them. No, that's good. There. Beautiful, right? Up next on my list of things that I want to share with you guys falls into the same category as the little diffuser that I have here, the lemongrass diffuser. But this one is a chakra balancing aromatherapy roll on, and it is organic and it is for the opening heart. And it says it's featuring geranium and lemon. And this is what it looks like. It's organic, opening heart. And you just open it up. And so you pop off the cap and you pull it out and that's what it looks like. And then of course you pop off this thing right here, this cap, and then you just roll it on. And it says you have to roll this essence onto your pulse points and inhale and then apply to the heart center. It says that a balanced heart chakra opens the floodgates of compassion and understanding for a new balance with a soft floral blend. And so that's what I've been doing. It has been the acupuncture and I have noticed a little bit of a difference there. Acupuncture is more just like everything in health. It's a compound effect. You've gotta be consistent with what you're doing to see results. It's not going to change overnight. You're not gonna see a difference overnight. You've gotta stick with it. And so I'm the kind of person who doesn't really like artificial fragrances. And I know that perfumes fall into that category. Um, or they have additives in them that just aren't good for you to inhale all day. I personally don't like air fresheners, Febreze, or whatever other brand is out there. I've always had this reaction to them. It makes me feel like I'm getting nauseous or dizzy, and that says something about what you are inhaling. You're breathing this all day. It's not real. The same thing goes for car fresheners. I do not like car fresheners. I would rather peel an orange in my car and throw the peels uh, on the seat or on the floor of the passenger seat and let that fragrance up my car. And as far as the aromatherapy goes, just like any other new age medicinal practice, I don't know why I'm holding the reeds, but I just thought I would. Magic. Some people will agree, some people won't. It might work for you, it might not work for you, but it's, it's worth it to try it. It's not going to hurt. It's something else that you can 
add to your list of things to incorporate in order to feel better, in order to improve your mood, your sleep, uh, reduce your stress, your anxiety. There's just a whole slew of resources out there and to not delve in and test things out for yourself wouldn't be right. I specifically chose the Heart Aromatherapy Roll-On because I highly value the heart. It's like your compass in life. It holds all of your truth and all of your desires and your passions and your wants and your needs. Your heart is so special and so precious. So to have an open heart is very important because that means that you are more receptive to opportunities, to new people, to new ideas, to new thoughts, new expressions, and even to a newness about yourself. It's also important to note that your heart, as strong as it is, is not immune to pain. In a way, the first thing that really gets hurt, I'm speaking emotionally and mentally, when you are hurt, when your feelings are hurt, it's your heart that takes the brunt of whatever pain that you, you're going through, of whatever pain that you're experiencing. So to heal it in any way that you can is very important, whether that's going to talk to someone, whether that's through prayer, through meditation, through doing things that you love, through just finding stillness within yourself and a calmness, going somewhere and just sitting down and just, and just being in the quiet, that's so beneficial because our world is crazy. Our world is fast paced and to be still is such a beneficial state of being. I find that pain, when you experience pain, it's almost similar to when you get a vaccine. Now follow me here. Or when you get vaccinated. Uh, as a child, you're vaccinated for chicken pox, uh, for example. Now I've had chicken pox. I, had chick I got chicken pox when I was three years old. I have the scars to prove it. And the funny thing about chicken pox is as soon as you get them, as soon as you get chicken pox, your body will recognize it if it comes in contact with chicken pox, the chicken pox virus, in the future and you are immune to it. I feel like pain, the pain that you can't touch but the pain that you can feel, that heart pain, the head pain, the pain, the weight on your shoulders, so to speak, pain is like that. It's that the new pain is something that your heart has never recognized before. That pain that is a new pain to your heart and your, your heart, after experiencing that pain, recognizes it if you experience it again. And so you become vaccinated to pain until you experience new pain. And when you experience a new kind of pain, the heart does the same thing. And that pain that your heart has experienced before, if you come across that intangible pain again in the future, what do you think happens? You will know how to handle it. Your heart will recognize it and you won't take it as hard as you did before. And if you recognize it in someone else, you know how to help. Do you see how pain can be worked into our lives in a positive way? So it's really important to keep your heart strong, to keep it strong, not just the organ itself, but the heart, the heart. You, it's, it's, and it's not a cliche and it's not corny and it's not dreamy or fantastical. It's true. It is true that you have to take great care of your heart in all the ways that you can because it if it's left hurt for too long it hardens and you don't want a hard heart because then that means you don't feel anymore and not feeling means you become a zombie and then when and if you're not feeling and you become a zombie well what does that mean you're not really living are you it's important to care for your heart 
it's very important. It's important to keep it open. It's important to dig up all that emotional garbage that is stored up in there in the chambers. It's important to clean it out, to make room for new, to make room for love. The heart can be strengthened, but you don't want it to get hard. You want to be able to feel, you want to be able to grow, and you want to be receptive to new and beautiful things that are in your life that are probably right in front of you, but you just don't see them because you're closed. Don't be closed. So that's my, my reasoning behind getting the opening heart. It's like a, a blooming flower in your chest. You want your heart to be open. Because when, you're, when your heart is open, your life is open. And when your life is open, the possibilities are endless.